Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Whew. Body beat down here on this Wednesday. Uh, a lot on my mind, a lot going on through my mind. If you keep up with my channel, you know I got a little health problem that is on my mind. And uh, well, today I finally called and made an appointment to at least go see my uh, you know, my, my main doctor and uh, she's gonna, I'm gonna tell her I wanna go see another doctor that's here in this town that specializes in cancer and stuff like that and, uh, and uh, just kind of see where I'm at. And uh, I don't have cancer that I'm aware of. It's been probably a year or so since I've been checked. But uh, I was never diagnosed with cancer. I just had a low blood platelet count. And uh, I suppose it points to the liver. So imagine waking up and going to bed every day, you know, uh, feeling like a ticking time bomb of not knowing what's going on. And uh, it's not fun, guys. It's It's been a real mental struggle and uh, you know, I've not been pushed this hard in a long time. So, yeah, it's just rough uh, dealing with it. So, anywho, let's go. Just, I like to be open with people on my channel. I like to be real. So, we all have problems, and that's what my channel is about. So, my channel is, if you've got a problem, let me know. So, because you never know, it, it might get helped. You by getting some answers, it can help other people by saying they're not alone. So, my channel is for that type of stuff. So, anyway, today we're going to be doing some deadlifts. I don't have a plan at all, no goal. Uh, I just know I'm doing deadlifts. So, let's start with 135 and we're going to go from there. Twenty five. I didn't use power two twenty five. Fifteen. Four fifty 
guys and just like that we're done uh, I'm stopping at 455 uh, I have a what I call an eye ache where you press your eyes and it's it's just painful and it's my neck needs to be popped and it all kind of connects and if I could pump my neck hey, a lot of it would go away but uh, I call this an eye ache and that's what I've just always called it I really need to take a cold shower, some aspirin, and just go to bed. But, yeah, uh, for those of you out there, forget the workout for a minute. For those of you out there struggling with health problems or mental problems or any kind of problems like that, uh, there's some of us out here that are openly free to talk about these things, and, and uh, that's what I do on my channel. Uh, and just to kind of touch base, you know, a little bit more into what I'm going through. Uh, when my wife had our first kid back in May of 94, uh, just right after she was diagnosed with melanoma, she had a mole pop up. And uh, she was diagnosed with melanoma, and it was actually like almost stage four. I mean, by the time... You know, they, that she went and had it checked, which she got checked pretty quick. But I mean, it went from nothing to something quick. But uh, the thing is, is within like a week, she was in the hospital getting cut ear to ear and getting all of her lymph nodes taken out. So something was done. Now there's still the underlying, you know, worries that you have and checkups and stuff like that. But she at least got to have something done like that. You know, my son gets diagnosed with diabetes. Well, number one, he could have turned his life around in the very, in the very beginning, uh, but he chose not to. And even now, being where he's at, he could still turn around and still live another 30, 40, 50 years if he actually took care of himself, uh, you know, to a kind of extreme. And, uh, you know, he had an option. Uh, I don't... I don't really have an option. So, you know, just being diagnosed and saying, yeah, you have low blood platelet count and I guess it points to your liver and what have you and just come back and we'll keep a check on it, we'll keep an eye on it. And uh, it could be this, you know, I might never, you know, I don't really see it cancerous or anything, but we'll keep an eye on it. And then I'm sent home. So, all this time, that's been like a year and a half, two years, whatever it's been at this point, I don't even know. You know, that's every day of my life. Waking up and going to bed. Well, we're just waiting. Well, we're just waiting. We're just waiting. And, you know, that's a that's one of the worst things you can do. Is, oh, uh, just wait and see. You know, just wait. So um, basically, I'm just waiting for the signs of cancer to pop up, and then what? I guess we just take care of something. Uh, I guess it's my death sentence. I don't really know. Uh, so imagine waking up and going to bed like that all the time, along with your wife's problems and your kids' problems and the world's problems and all that. That's a lot on your shoulders, and uh, it's been rough. It has not been easy. And uh, there's lots of sleepless nights and restless days and lots of, lots of, uh, my depression is even more, you know, even worse. Anxiety, I can tell my anxiety levels are up. My eyes are about to pop out of my head. And, uh, it's a, it's a serious situation when you're put in this uh, predicament. And, uh, but anyway... Uh, I guess it's next week I go see my primary care doctor here in town and I found out that there's a cancer specialist of some sort here in town so I'm going to see if she'll get me in to see that person here in town the last one I went to see was in Jackson, Tennessee 
And uh, so, you know, maybe I can go here and get the same bad news, but at least it's here in town, five minutes down the road. So anyway, and uh, anyway, I'll see if I can schedule that uh, on our spring break in March. That way I don't have to miss any work or try to schedule around stuff. So I'll be out of school for a week and uh, see if I can get it done then. So, you know, I don't want this video to be a downer. I want it to be kind of an eye opener. Uh, number one, you need to be, you know, keep an eye on yourself. I, you know, go to the doctor, get stuff done. I had my first colonoscopy, you know, several months back. And, uh, yeah, so I mean, you know, you gotta keep your, keep your head on straight and take care of yourself. And another thing, stop eating like you're a 10 year old kid. We're not 10 year old kids anymore, we're adults. And you can't eat junk food seven days a week. That's gonna give you high blood pressure, high cholesterol, gout, obesity, depression, laziness, uh, and it can also cause cancer. So uh, all that stuff leads to a very unhealthy lifestyle and people just don't seem to get it. And it's unfortunate that I got it later in life, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, all my efforts trying to eat decent and working out and cycling and doing all that stuff, you know, is it for nothing now because of my sickness that I might could have? Uh, you know, I don't know. I really don't know, guys. So anyway, a very serious topic, very serious discussion that can be had in the comments. I hope you take part in it. Uh, let me know anything you're going through because uh, a lot of times... Our own family and friends don't care to hear, and the people online are quicker to listen to your problems than anyone else. So, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael. You're an incredible host, and don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it, and we'll see you next time on Body Beat Down, which will probably be tomorrow. See you then, guys. Get up, get out, get ready to do it, do it!